first things first, tell me, why do you want this job? Do you really want to know why I want this job? I want this job because I love customer service. I mean, I absolutely love helping out people with what they need. Okay, that's good. Positive thinking. We're off to a good start. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Do you really think I want this job just because I love helping customers? Well, I mean... Why wouldn't you? Listen, listen, listen. Let's not be five-year-olds, all right? Let's not be little kids about this, all right? Enough with the traditional crap. I want this job because I want money, okay? I'm broke, okay? So I came to this job interview to get money, okay? And right now, I'm gonna need that 12 to $15 an hour in my wallet immediately. So if you think I actually like helping customers, you must be snorting pixie sticks right now. I don't even... You know what? Moving on. Next question. What do you know about the company? Absolutely nothing. I just saw an ad about it and I immediately signed up afterwards. Really? You have no idea. You, ha you don't know anything about this company. You don't know anything about what you're signing up for. Um, yeah. Basically. Are you stupid? You need to do your research for the company you're going to work for in job interviews like this, sir. But did I do research? No, because I really don't care about this company. Then why are you trying to get a job here? Because I want money. I thought I made this clear when you asked me the first question. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Just move on. Next question. Why do you think you're best suited for this position? Because I have the honesty of a person passing a lie detector test. What? Because I have the honesty of a person passing a lie detector test. You heard what I said. Okay then, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself not working here and living my life to the fullest, unlike you. That is actually a valid answer. I know, that's why I chose it. Yeah, this man's gonna have to see me outside. What are the qualities that make you a good leader? My brutal honesty. Can you show me a demonstration of that brutal honesty? For instance, you have a big ass forehead along with that cocaine sniffing nose. I don't sniff. I'm not finished. Your teeth look like you've been chewing on rocks. Your hair looks like it's been attacked by a lawnmower. And your body's built like the Michelin Man. Wow. Yep. Did someone piss in your cereal? Did someone eat your last Hot Pocket? I mean, who hurt you? You did, for this entire interview. Okay, second to last question. Would you be willing to work nights and weekends? No. Why? Because I need sleep and at least two days of freedom from this place. Okay, that's fair. Last question. Why are you interested in this job? I'm not. Like I said the first three times, I just want money. Ah! Next! Oh my god, is he alright? Yeah, he's fine. But like I said, next! I don't think he's fine. Oh, oh, oh my god, he's bleeding! My face! It hurts! Quick, someone call an ambulance, man. Hey, man, you had no right to punch him like that. Hey, in my defense, he showed up to a job interview not knowing what job he was signing up for. So he had a right to catch these hands. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. What lawyer? I thought you said you was broke. So how can you afford a lawyer? I have ways of getting one, dumbass. You also got a way of getting your leg broken. Wait, wait, I didn't 